does an increase in expenditure affect the national income this study is based on the combined effect of the macroeconomic concept multiplier and accelerator this interaction was developed by economists like samuelson hicks herod and hansen Paul Samuelson developed the multiplier accelerator interaction model on the suggestion of Hansen in a three sector closed system. Let us get some idea about the structure of this model. Can you interpret this equation? Yes, current consumption depends on the income in the previous period. CT is consumption in current period. Y T minus one is income in previous period, and M is the marginal propensity to consume. Can you interpret this equation? Yes, investment in the current period is a function of the change in consumption in the current period and the consumption in the previous period. I T is the induced investment. CT is consumption in current period. CT minus one is consumption in previous period, and N is the accelerator. Now consider the consumption function again, and lag it by one period. This gives CT minus one is equal to M Y T minus two. Substituting the value of current consumption and the value of consumption in the previous period in the investment function gives this result. Do you recognize this equation? Yes, this is a second order difference equation. Consider a consumption function again. This consumption function may also be written like this. What is gamma? Gamma is the marginal propensity to save. How will you interpret this equation? I is the induced investment and Y is the income. This equation may be interpreted as the current induced investment is a function of the change in output in the preceding periods. If income is the sum of the consumption and investment, substituting the values and simplifying gives this result. This is again a second order difference equation. The pace of inflation is influenced by price adjustment and wage adjustment. Assume a closed system with one period lag. Wages increase to offset an increase in the cost of living. Can you write the expression showing the relationship between the rate of increase of money wage and rate of increase in price? we can write like this wt is the rate of increase of money wages in the current period pt minus 1 is the rate of increase of prices in the preceding period and alpha is the extent to which trade unions are successful in granting wage claim if unions are powerful enough to grant an increase in wage then even if the rate of increase in price is zero money wages will increase this situation may be expressed like this beta is the push by the unions if beta is positive 
alpha is assumed to be unity lagging this equation by one period gives this equation if q t minus 1 is the rate of increase in productivity the price adjustment and wage adjustment can be combined together like this substituting the lagged wage gives this result this is a second order difference equation this shows that the increase in price in the current period is determined by the push by the unions rate of increase in price two periods in the past and the rate of increase in productivity these are popular models from macroeconomic analysis that uses lagged variables and as you have seen these models use the two period time lag Initially you may find the concept of difference equation difficult but with practice you will be able to master the technique because practice makes a man perfect so see you next week till then enjoy life and keep learning